Today's video has age ratings on it. It's rated RF for really funny, NH for naked humor, MPJ for man parts jokes, and GS for general shenanigans. So if you have any welders who are under 18, you might want to ask them to leave the room. My name's Barbie the Welder, and I'm a full-time metal sculptor. And today I'm also a general shenanigator. Today's project is the Big Dig Hot Dog Cooker. And this project right here is going to make you and all your buddies the grill freaking master this summer. The materials you're gonna need for this project are expanded metal, you're gonna need quarter inch knots, quarter 20 knots, and like, like the thread matters. <laughs> quarter inch knots and 5 eighths inch knots and four inch common nails. And all these things I pick up right at my local tractor supply store. Our first step is gonna to be to make the base. And to do that, we're gonna take our expanded metal and we're gonna cut it into three inch by three inch squares for each base. I normally make these in sets of two. So if you want to make two, then you cut two three inch by three inch pieces. Now that the base is cut, you're going to want to go in and deburr each of them to take any sharp edges off. And you can do that with a sanding desk or just by hand with a file, but you want to make sure you get all, that, uh, all those sharp edges off so people don't get cut when they're using them. As you can see, I have a ton of bases cut out because when I make these, I mass produce them. For you to make just one individual, you're going to need one base two quarter inch knots, one five eighths inch knot, and six nails. Unless you want your dinker do to be stainless steel, in which case you can buy shish kebab skewers at the store and then cut one down, I hate doing that, cut one down to four inches. Um, I am doing uh, several of them at once. I'm gonna mass produce them. So do the math on how many you wanna make. If you wanna make four sets, then you do all your maths for yourself. That's on you, it's not on me to do maths. Our next step is to take two nails for each hot dog cooker we would like to make and bend two arms. And those nails are bent at about 45 degree angle each. Now that the arms are bent, we're going to set them aside and work on welding the head to the body. One large nut, one nail, and this is a little tricky, but you're going to have to be ambidextrous. You're going to hold the body, we're going to take the one nail, hold the body with your thumb, hold the nut up against the head of the nail, and tilt it up. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But as you tilt it up, we're going to take our welder and we're going to weld it on one side and we're going to weld it on the other. See how it's at an angle like that? That's going to have him looking down at his big dinker do. Makes it funny, it's the way I like to do it. We'll set the heads and bodies aside, and now we get to weld our dinker dues. I will laugh through this whole freaking thing. So, the way I do it is this. I use my whelpers. Needle nose pliers work, but this is what I found to be the easiest way. Pick up two nuts with your whelpers. I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm going right to hell. I have a front row reserved seat in hell just for this video, and it's before I start making these damn things. 
So hold them with your wipers. Take your dinker do, and I lay it right on top. And I'm just going to put a tack on either side, and this will weld each knot to the dinker do, and the dinker do. <laughs> it'll it'll weld everything together. I'll show you in close up in just a second. On a serious note, never weld a nut. <laughs> never, never weld a nut to your welders. So here we go. And just one weld, one little tack weld on either side. We'll get you a close up here. Now it's time to weld the little guy's legs together. And the way I do that is you can use the base as a guide, but you want to keep have the feet no farther apart than three inches. So you can just kind of set it here to get a good idea. And we're just going to take and put one tack weld right here where the two meet. There you go. Now that we have all the pieces welded individually, it's time just to put them all together. So you start with the head and body, and you tack weld them to the legs. Like that. The dinker do gets welded to the legs and what I do is I put it right above like where where the two pieces meet you want it 90 degrees to the body tack weld on either side and now the arms get welded on and the way I do this is you just it's a little tricky but you gotta kind of hold it to where he is holding on to his dinker do. <laughs> I told you this was rated RF, NH, MPJ, and GS. All right, just give it a tack weld right where the two meet. We're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Go ahead and flip it over and you see where the back is you want to give it just a tack weld on either side here and a tack weld on the back all right it's at this point you want to take your wire brush and you want to clean up any discolorations i find personally that it's easier to clean it up here and then a second time again when you put it on the base. Now that you have them all welded together and cleaned up with the wire brush, it's time to give him a base. And the way I do that is just put the base on the ground and you want him standing just about level so that his dinker do is horizontal with the table. And you're just gonna go get him lined up and you're just gonna weld one spot on the back of each foot and one spot on the front of each foot. And you gotta be careful here because of the, the thinness of your expanded, so just a small quick tack on either side. Now that you got them there, you're gonna to wanna to take your wire brush again, clean here and here, all the well discolorations. You also wanna go through, and you see I got a little piece of spatter right there. Hammer and a chisel, you wanna knock that spatter off. You don't want any sharp edges on it to where a person using it or handling it is going to get hurt.
I want a little dick hot dog cooker, said no man ever. Make sure you always clean your big dick hot dog cooker before you use it. Big dick hot dog cookers, because you want to be the grill freaking master this summer. I work with a bunch of dicks. Big dick hot dog cookers, because nobody wants to grill with a little dick hot dog cooker. This shop is a sausage fest. <laughs> All right, if you guys love this ridiculous project, pun intended, go ahead and share the video with your friends. If you guys don't have the capability of making one because you don't have a welder, but you really love them, these are the last 12 sets that I'm going to make. And if you hurry up, they will be in my Etsy shop. I am not going to make any more after this. So once these 12 sets are gone, they're done. So the link is in my description down below. And happy welding, happy grilling, y'all.